Hello, welcome to the blog of Air Themes. Today we are going to show you about how we can disable the default Gutenberg editor and enabling the previous classic editor because you are not I think you are not familiar with the new Gutenberg editor because Gutenberg editor is based in block structure but um, if you are familiar with the classic editor you can easily switch the Gutenberg editor to the classic editor so in this blog post we are going to show you about how we can disable this one and enable the previous one for example make sure Gutenberg editor will available only if you have the WordPress version more than 5 currently I have version 5.1 and now let me check how Gutenberg editor will look like first go to post and for example click a new here you will see the Gutenberg editor in the classic editor it was totally different but now Gutenberg editor is look like this for example my new post and you can write your post content over here my post content and if you want to add something like that you can add here you can also enter here and you can add lots of things image headings for example as you di and the use headings you can switch between the headings from here this this is easy to use however if you are not familiar with this you can easily switch into the classic editor one so how you can switch or replace this Gutenberg editor with the previous classic editor so just wait I will show you how we can do in a simple and quick steps for that first we need to install a plugin name classic editor what classic editor for example let's publish this post once currently this is the Gutenberg dashboards now go to plugins and a new Search the plugin name here CLASSIC Classic EDITOR Editor. Classic Editor. Now, this is the Classic Editor which is 3 million plus you can install now and it is increasing day by day install now because lots of WordPress users are not, are not familiar with the uh, Gutenberg editors so they are preferring this Classic Editor. Hence, the active install is quite high now click it but Gutenberg editor is a good one if you uh, learn good Gutenberg editor it is really easy to use uh, then the classic editor but instead of switching into a new editor first uh, and if you are not well familiar or you are not well known with what's blog how to do all lots of things there you can use this now classic editor is being installed and activated now we can go in post for example click a new now the classic Gutenberg editor is being replaced by the classic one I think this is the classic one and you love this editor very much now we can also parallelly use both editors at a time but uh, we, we have some settings in the plugin for example uh, install plugins and you can see the settings classic editor settings over here and here is the option default editor for, for, all, for all users means if your wordpress has lots of users you can set them the classic editor or block editor you can try choose which default editor you are going to set you can easily switch between the between the editor of here and any user to switch editors if for example classic editor is the default editor and Users are, users are not allowed to switch between the users here is no for example let's extend it let's see how it works uh, go over here and all post you can see there is no any option to edit with a Gutenberg editor right there is only the option to edit means it will edit with a classic editor but if you do that means if you go to the settings and if you go with the block editor sorry if if we can uh, set the classic editor first and if you we allow switch allow users to switch between the editors uh, 
uh, and if you select the yes over here setting is now go in the post and check all post and here is the option to edit which editor edit blog editor or classic editor blog editor means the green work editor and the classic editor means the classic editor one so you can go over here and change anytime so i think it's really easy to switch between the editor and it's really easy to disable the widget bar hope you like this vlog and please post your valuable feedback comment and suggestion below and if you like to know about anything more about the wordpress just comment us below we'll make the awesome video for you there thank you